Welcome back to our Switzerland series. We are here in St. Gallen today after a very long travel day. So the city of St. Gallen is well known for its abbey, also called the Abbey of St. Gall, uh, that dates back to the 8th century. There's also a library um, with books dating back to the 8th century, but I think you need to pay 18 francs. So today we're just going to visit uh, the abbey itself. Our visit to the abbey was short, but we were really impressed by the ceiling frescoes as well as the intricate green stucco work decorating the interior. Afterwards, we explored the grounds of the religious complex in the immediate city center. We finished the day by having dinner at a traditional restaurant in the heart of the old town where we had a delicious and authentic Swiss dinner. We are doing a day trip to Zurich this morning because it started raining in St. Gallen and unfortunately if it's raining it's not the greatest day obviously to go up the cable cars or to explore Appenzell. Um, so we are here in Zurich by the river and the water is very clear as well here. So this is Lindenhof Park. We didn't do much research before coming to Zurich, but apparently this was a place we had to see. It seems to be perched um, above the river, so hopefully we get a nice view from this angle. Not bad. visiting Lindenhof Park, we decided to explore the old town of Zurich. We had seen our fair share of churches during this trip, but Zurich has four main churches in the old town, all of which are distinctive landmarks. We were so glad the city was very walkable, because it was so hot on the day we visited, and we had to take breaks very regularly and try to stay hydrated.
this is their major um, shopping street and we are heading towards the Sprungli flagship store here in Zurich. They have macarons. And there seems to be a wedding photo shoot going on here. is the statue We took the train from St. Gallen this morning. Uh, it took about, I think, half an hour or maybe 50 minutes um, to come here. So this is a more rural part of Switzerland. So this is one of the main streets in the town of Apezzo. And the buildings here have beautiful um, colors and are all painted, as you can see. This is truly the definition of a sleepy town. It's almost like time froze here, or maybe you're out of a fairy tale, I'm not sure.
crazy view. Without a doubt, the happiest cows on earth. Honestly, this place is just, just so amazing. It took my breath away when I first got here. Um, you have, you know, mountains, green pastures, happy cows, wildflowers, cowbells. It's like, what else do you need, right? Other than the green pastures and the beautiful cows, um, we came to Ebelma because there's a famous restaurant that we'll show you later and there's also prehistoric caves over here. Oh, well, this could get slippery if it rains. Eh? Okay, it's really dark here. But this is what the cave looks like. So here we are at the Asher restaurant. So this place is really famous because it appeared on the cover of a National Geographic magazine. So we just changed seats because uh, this table was available. But look, there's even mountain goats on the side, and you have the lake over there. So this is my barley suit, and he got a beef ragu. All right. Oh my gosh, this was so good, so incredible. I thought it was going to be a tourist trap, but it's really, really yummy food. So it's a great stop if you come here. You can also hike that way. Um, there's a famous Schaffler Ridge or Schaffler Hike um, that's really popular but a harder hike and then I think over there is Santa's Mountain. There's also a restaurant up here, and this is the view from the other side. That's 
Since we needed to stop by a pencil again, we decided to walk around the town one more time. That's when we stumbled upon the local church, and despite its modest exterior, the interior was truly magnificent. On our last day in Switzerland, I was definitely having second thoughts about now trying some Ladurac chocolates. We heard that Ladurac chocolates were decadent and one of the most popular brands, but I wasn't sure if it was truly worth it. Let me tell you, the Ladurac truffles are some of my favorite truffles now. <laughs> 